Hey guys, quick back chemistry basics here. Let's talk about G protein coupled receptors. G protein coupled receptors are the largest and the most diverse group of membrane receptors in eukaryotes. The G protein coupled receptor is made up of single polypeptide chain. This polypeptide chain is folded and embedded in the cell membrane. The protein is folded in such a way that it spans across the plasma membrane seven times. It is also called 7 transmembrane receptor. The protein is folded in such a way that the N terminal domain remains in the outer environment, whereas the C terminal domain remains in the cytoplasm. The C-terminal domain is attached with heterotrimeric stimulatory G protein, which is denoted as GS. The stimulatory G protein has three domains, alpha, beta, and gamma. The alpha domain is usually attached with GDP, and this is the inactive state of GS subunit. When a signaling molecule from the external environment binds the receptor, the GDP attached with alpha subunit is replaced by GTP. The alpha subunit bound with GTP is the active state of GS subunit. The activated alpha subunit moves to the adenyl cyclase enzyme and activates it. The adenyl cyclase enzyme catalyzes the formation of CAMP from ATP. The cyclic AMP further activates CAMP-dependent protein kinase A. The activated protein kinase A further activates other cellular proteins by phosphorylation. Now the alpha subunit has its own GTPase activity. Because of this, the GTP gets hydrolyzed to GDP. The GDP bound alpha subunit is inactive. The inactive alpha subunit again returns to beta and gamma subunit, which remains attached with the G protein coupled receptor.